as expected from earlier this morning, Prime Minister Theresa May has delayed the crucial vote on her Brexit plan that was due to take place tomorrow. If we went ahead and held the vote tomorrow, the deal would be rejected by a significant margin. We will therefore defer the vote schedule for tomorrow and not proceed to divide the House at this time. Three crucial developments here. We have not been told the date for the fresh deferred vote. That's causing much ire in the House of Commons. Number two, she dodged the question as to whether she was just seeking verbal assurances from European leaders about the Irish backstop or formally seeking changes to the legal text on the withdrawal agreement, something that many of her opponents say is crucial if it's worth renegotiating at all. And thirdly, if you look at the intraday pound of the chart, you can see it took a further leg lower uh, about 45 minutes ago. That was when the Speaker of the House seemed to suggest he still wasn't sure he would let the Prime Minister delay tomorrow's vote unless they held a vote to delay that vote. So again, a lot of uncertainty here. We're down about 1.8% on the pound. That intraday move that you just saw on the pound, if we now look at the Dow intraday, clearly having a big effect on U.S. markets. And as we approach the close of European equity markets, significant declines. Interestingly, the FTSE 100 down less than European counterparts, with some of those uh, foreign exporters uh, not falling as much because of the fall in the pound. Guys? Wolf, it's, uh, it's getting later in the day over there. When are we going to know anything in terms of, uh, as you said, whether they're going to have to vote to have a vote or not have a vote tomorrow? Well, the procedural, uh, uh, the procedural aspects of the, of the House of Commons here somewhat in question. The Speaker seemed to suggest it was just about plausible under the rules for the Prime Minister to steamroll this through, but he was very upset uh, with that in mind. But, but another factor comes into play here. Uh, and Mike, and that is that pretty much every other party, don't forget, on her own, the Prime Minister and the Conservatives do not have an outright majority, pretty much every other party is expressing deep dismay at this delay tactic by uh, the Prime Minister, and it's plausible uh, that they could try to trigger a vote in their own right, even if the Speaker does not. So a lot of uncertainty remains. As you say, as we approach the end of the day, it's about 4.30pm uh, here. Uh, and that's why the British pound is at its lowest level since April 2017. Hey, Wilf, when May talks about the government stepping up preparations for a no-deal Brexit, uh, specifically, any idea what that means? Well, it, it, no. Uh, and uh, that's somewhat uh, left people in disbelief that it hasn't already taken place in the last couple of years. And there's always been a, a criticism by the hard Brexiteers that when she's gone into negotiations, it's been clear that she isn't prepared for no deal and therefore had a weaker negotiating position. Uh, those two binary options, though, no deal or some kind of second referendum to reverse Brexit, both come more into play if her deal is defeated, which, of course, uh, it's not been approved uh, and won't be approved tomorrow. Uh, whether When it gets defeated is another question. Those two binary options more come into play uh, as we move forward with this uncertainty. And markets currently, as you can see, reacting to expect no deal is the more likely uh, than remain. Wilf, lots of criticism of the prime minister's approach here. But as she was at one point pointing out in her speech, uh, a lot less in terms of uh, alternatives to her approach that were that are actually likely uh, to get somewhere. Is there anything emerging on another approach that's not a, a no-deal Brexit or uh, Theresa May's uh, negotiated deal that many don't seem to like? No. And, John, you, you uh, ask exactly the right question. Of course, uh, everyone in the last uh, couple of months has criticised the Prime Minister. No one's come up with a credible alternative, not least when you look at the rhetoric coming out of Europe, whether that's uh, united statements by the European Commission after they all meet together or individual statements by uh, the individual leaders. Again, all coming out along the lines of we've been negotiating for years. The Prime Minister and the EU came up with a deal. Uh, there is no change to the legal text of that withdrawal uh, agreement until Parliament votes on it. And that is the catch-22 that we're in uh, at the moment. Uh, which way we move exactly from here, uncertain. And that is exactly why the prospects and possibility of the default option, if nothing is agreed, the default option is no deal. The prospects of that ticking up today, the pound ticking down, or more than ticking down, slumping significantly.